again to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you my take on how I make the simplest form and the cheapest form on how to bake sugar-free birthday cake. I have here Pillsbury yellow cake which is sugar-free. I am also going to show you step-by-step step on how to make a sugar-free filling and also a sugar-free cream cheese buttercream frosting first step I'm going to make the cake I have two boxes of pre-mix cake I bought it for $2.97 at Walmart so I'm just going to follow the direction here I have two boxes so it needs six eggs and two-thirds cup of oil and I am going to use one cup of Obi Halea. If you don't have this, that's fine. You can use any fruit or any vegetables you want to mix in in your cake flour. Even if this is a pre-mix cake flour, good tip that you need to sift the flour, any dry ingredients you have, because most of the time they have big chunks in there and when you sift the flour, actually, it gives a lighter result in your cake. This is an extra work, however, it does give a difference on your cake. Not only that, you're avoiding the big crumbs, any crumbles that the flour has, because it has been stored in the box for how many months. So you do that. in which right now I have big crumbs of flour right now. If you have family members who are sensitive of sugar or diabetic, you don't have to spend so much of the money to buy a cake that is sugar-free. You can actually make it. This is a trick that I have learned over the years. And ha I have been doing this kind of cake for my parents. Mango cake, obi cake, vanilla, orange chiffon, all sugar-free. Sometimes I make it from the scratch. Sometimes when I don't have time, I use these in so far, it gives me a very good, very, very good result. Okay, so I get the uh, flour sifted, everything sifted. I'm gonna put this in a bowl in which I can mix with the eggs and the oil so every cake mix box it calls for one third cup of oil one cup of water and three eggs I'm going to preheat the oven 350 I will be adding six eggs easy to make really easy to make Sometimes you just need those ideas for something that you want that you cannot afford sometimes you just replace them and believe me or not sometimes they work much better and six okay now this obi halaya is one cup I'm going to add this in
going to add the other cup of water. I am going to add an ubi flavor extract. I would put two tablespoons of it. Whatever flavor that you are going to achieve, you can add it like strawberries or almond. banana, things like that. Two thirds. There we go. I have two cake pans right now. I'm gonna make two layers of cake. I am going to just spray this so it's easy to remove later. I will be using cups. That way they're balanced. So at least three cups each. So this is our pretty much your even. We are going to put this in the oven. And while doing that, I am going also to show you how to make the cream cheese butter frosting. I put it in a middle rack. And for that, that should be 39 to 43 minutes. So waiting for my cake in the oven, I'm going to make cream cheese and buttercream frosting. So with this, I go one is to one. One box of cream cheese and one stick of butter. For this, because I have two cakes, I will be doing two boxes and two sticks of butter. 
you would need a sugar-free replacement sugar in which I'm using erythritol. Frosting right now, I added, I'm going to scrape the sides of it. So this would be so savory because this is from the cream cheese, is a little salty, so this is great. ratio and I am going to color where I'm going to put OB extract on the smaller quantity because this is for decoration. Okay so this is our frosting. I put a little OB uh, extract in there. My cakes are pulling off right now. I'm going to take this off, put it in the wrap. The cake is still hot but I'm going to take off all the rings that way and make the uh, cooling faster. We're gonna level this also. So the cake will be level. Off. What we're gonna do later is that we're gonna level this. We're gonna take off the top part, part of it, and some of the edges. I'm going to make the pudding right now. This is gonna be our filling. Okay, so we're gonna make the pudding. This calls for one packet is for two cups of milk. I'm not gonna put two cups of milk because I don't want it runny, stuff like that. So I'm going to put one cup and a quarter because I want the consistency a little firmer than a pudding. This is this is warm. Never miss a delivery when you use the Amazon 
put into our cakes. It's gonna be some night. This goes to the fridge. in a little bit in the middle not too much and I'm gonna put the vanilla pudding this is my filler big filling Frosting in here for basic. I already took out the edges as you can see. That's the hard edges on the cake. Now I'm going to cover this.
Okay, we are finished. This is our, this is my take of sugar-free birthday cake. How would you know that this is a cake out from the box? I would say this cake is under $20. Not so bad, you know, as we all know, it's so hard to find sugar-free cake in any bakery. It's just not available in anywhere right now unless you pre-order them. And you know what? They cost a lot of money. It is a good thing to have tips and ideas from everyone else where you can save money. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. cake is very good. It's actually... It's very tasty. I'm gonna keep the recipe of the uh, frosting.